Okay, this is a simple solitaire or patience game. This one's called Betrothal. And to set the game up, you start with the Queen of Hearts on the table face up. And your deck is shuffled, and on the bottom of the deck is the King of Hearts. And the story of the game is that you are trying to bring the King and Queen of Hearts together at the end of the game for their marriage. Okay, so you lay cards face up in a line next to the Queen. So looking at what we got here, we have the Four of Diamonds, Nine of Clubs. You can lay as many cards out as you like. In fact, you can lay the whole deck out all at once. But what you're doing as you go is any time you have one or two cards between two cards of the same suit or two cards of the same rank, you can remove that card. So if we just look at what's happened here, we've got four of diamonds, nine of clubs, eight of hearts, four of spades, ten of clubs. There. Okay, so there's a couple of options here. One is I could remove the four and the nine because they are between two hearts. I could also remove the eight here because it's between two clubs. However, I can also see that there's a four here and a four here, but there's three cards between them. The solution is this. I'll take the eight of hearts out first, which is between the two clubs, and then between the two fours, we can actually remove these two cards, and then the two fours come out there. And then lay the cards out again. And so you can see that you're just looking for patterns in the cards. So you might want to bring this queen down to this queen to remove cards. So you could actually take the club out because it's between two spades, close it up, and then the four and the four out because they're between two queens. Close it up and keep putting cards out. And like I said before, you can put as many cards out as you like. And it's quite useful to have several out because you can start to see the patterns in between the cards. Like there, there's two diamonds just come out. So I could take those two spades out, which I might do. And then you've got the three is between two sixes. You can take it out. <coughs> the end here got the queen between two hearts, so you could take that one out. And that's betrothal. You simply keep going through the deck, dealing cards, and looking for those matches. So, a six and a five between two sixes. You could take them out. And then you've got the six of clubs between two hearts. Take that out. Looks easy, but actually you start to get combinations of cards that don't fall into place quite so well. But there's two hearts. Take those out. And then you've got two hearts between two hearts. You can take all of those out and so on. And that's how it works. And you go right through the deck, but you must end up playing it right so you get the king of hearts at the very end. Let's say if this was the end of the game. The king of hearts, if it came out, there's a heart there and a heart there, so we can remove those. And then there's that in between. And we can do that. Hmm. So with good planning, it's not too hard to get out. And the king and the queen can have their wedding. That's betrothal.